The BMW i8 was announced in the spring of 2013, but not brought to market until early 2014. The plug-in hybrid is one of the most technologically advanced supercars on the market. At $135,000, most people never even see the high-priced exotic in person, let alone drive one. Here are some facts about the BMW i8. One, it is a hybrid. Of course y'all knew that already, but it's not like the Prius. The i8 is a through-the-road hybrid with a mid-mounted gasoline engine coupled to a six-speed transmission driving the rear wheels. Two, the gasoline engine is three cylinders. That's right, three cylinders? The engine that punches way above its weight, making 231 horsepower and 236 pounds of torque. Number three, lightweight. The BMW i8 weighs just shy of 3,300 pounds. Number four, it's really an economy car. It's an electric only range of 22 miles, delivers 95 miles to the gallon and plugs into the wall. It combined 231 horsepower and 236 pounds of torque. You'll get to 60 miles per hour in just shy of 4.5 seconds, which is probably conservative. Electric car ads have been quite bad over the years. Many trudge along like boring public service announcements muddled together on a rainy day. Without a doubt, this sort of advertising is part of the reason why electric car ads are considered non-desirable, unattractive, and boring. Tesla has come a long way in shaking things up with the hottest sedan on the market, but it doesn't actually advertise its vehicle, so we're yet to see what an official Tesla commercial would look like. However, I think this following i8 ad brings the electric car ads to the top of the list. It does an excellent job of actually making people desire this plug-in hybrid. It actually connects with people's emotions and makes the i8 look sleek, sexy, and beautiful. BMW makes electric cars seem like they are the future, which I am convinced is the case. In the book, it explains how billboards are a way of advertising to a large group of society through the number of people passing them daily on highways as well as walking past them. BMW does a great job of making the i8 look innovative on their large and creative billboards. Here are some examples of what the BMW i8 billboards look like. In the book, it explains marketing on social media, which gives today's more empowered consumers the ability to share their brand experience with their social media friends and followers. BMW does a great job making their social media followers happy. BMW connected to key social media influencers in the equal and innovative way. BMW followed influencers' Twitter feed and surprised them by showing up at their location, offering them a chance to drive the all new and improved hybrid BMW i8. The object of this was to target key influencers, bloggers, and enthusiasts attendance at CES and surprise them with the opportunity to test drive the elusive I BMW i8, a highly sought after car. BMW social media team solely used Twitter as a platform to identify and communicate customers, focusing on conversations around people, event, hashtags, and conferences. A BMW i8 product Advocate rode with an influencer to explain the features of the car throughout their test drive. The book describes the target market consists of set buyers who share a common need and characteristics that the company decides to serve. The target market for the BMW i8 is young to middle-aged rich businessmen and high-ranking corporate professionals with a sense of thrill and are tech savvy that are not only looking for the ultimate driving experience, but are also worried about driving responsibly. The target market reaches out to mostly men 35 and older with a high income and upper class with an annual income of over $100,000 and a net worth of above a million dollars. BMW does well with marketing the product all sorts of different ways. They use TV commercials really well as I showed you an example earlier as well as created very amusing billboards. BMW strives in making everything the best, and the one place I found they needed help with was their social media pages. When marketing the i8, BMW didn't take as much time on their social media pages as they could have, 
in order to reach out to every customer for this product.